The roadmap on implementation of last month's pact signified by a handshake between President Uhuru Kenyatta and NASA leader Raila Odinga on national dialogue will be unveiled next week. The committee tasked with crafting the roadmap, co-chaired by Ambassador Martin Kemani and lawyer Paul Mwangi, met today to put final touches on the plan of action. And as Francis Kashuri reports, the handshake jitters remain with 2022 succession politics clouding the deal meant to resolve long-standing national issues. After the Harambe House meeting between President Uhuru Kenyatta and his political nemesis Raila Odinga that caught many by surprise, delay in unveiling the roadmap to achieve the nine key issues they outlined in their joint statement has sparked anxiety and uncertainty. But Ambassador Martin Kimani and lawyer Paul Mwangi tasked by Kenyatta and Odinga to craft a roadmap on the initiative's implementation met today to fine-tune the work plan. Kimani told Citizen Weekend that the president and NASA leader had been involved in the shaping of the national dialogue agenda, which the joint team wants to be an all-inclusive process, bringing on board all stakeholders. Kimani disclosed that the roadmap will be unveiled by Thursday next week and will involve a series of conversations on the nine-point agenda that Kenyatta and Odinga identified in resolving long-standing national challenges. These include ethnic antagonism and competition, lack of national ethos, inclusivity, devolution, divisive elections, safety and security, corruption, shared prosperity and responsibilities and rights. While the joint committee holds that the Kenyatta Odinga handshake had inspired Kenyans to engage despite their political or ethnic differences and resulted in a calm country, the political class has been anxious with the 2022 succession politics kicking off. Busia Senator Emo Swako, a close ally of Odinga, two days ago lifted the lead on the mamas within the opposition team over the handshake. Wako observing that a month into the pact, neither the National Dialogue Program had been rolled out nor launched and that the situation had created a vacuum for proponents of the status quo. The former Attorney General feared that the key issues raised in the joint statement could be lost in the 2022 succession dust. So say the truth, that there are some people within the Jubilee Coalition who are not happy with this kind of and the whole country should rally behind Raila Molodinga, the people's president. And together with the handshake that they made with Uhuru Kenyatta to make sure that Kenya moves forward and Kenya becomes one nation under God. The co-conveners assuring the country that the initiative was on course and that the Joint Secretariat would unveil a schedule that will bring on board all Kenyans and sectors to seek solutions to national issues. Now, is it Uhuru Akisema? Ruto na mimi na wajubli tunapiga saluti. Na baba akisema tunamambia watu wa upinzani wote wapige saluti wafuate baba. Francis Gashuri Citizen Weekend.